Well, it's happening, folks. Operations of Mike the Fixer are moving to the East Coast, so. I don't know if I'm gonna, how I'm gonna edit this, but I gotta, I'm shipping this scooter. It's going in a uh, container. I'm taking the mirrors off already. Uh, but I do need to drain the gas. Uh, don't want anything flammable, obviously. So I'm going to just give it a quick siphon and uh, put some fuel stabilizer in there. Now this stuff is great. Uh, if you're doing any storage of gasoline, uh, not even the gas, yeah, gasoline, or just like put it, I'm going to run it through the carburetor, whatever's left in the tank. That way, this stuff sits with the gas in the carburetor. Um, it's great for anything you store for any period of time, but let's get this cheap siphon pump dollar store, believe it or not. I have a nice one somewhere, but I'm trying to find that in this mess. So yeah, I've been packing up for like a month, just boxing up everything I got, I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. Yeah, this is working. For a dollar, I really didn't think it would work. Once the siphon's going, you can you don't need to pump. Feels like it might be leaking. Oh, it's got a bleeder. Look at that. A dollar. Gotta love the dollar store. As long as I just take that gas and I'll put it in my car. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just make a little video for shipping and storage. I don't know. Must be somebody out there find that interesting, right? Alright, she's pretty empty, siphoned out. It says one ounce of this treats two and a half gallons. So an ounce is uh, not a lot. So I'm just going to put a little dab in there. Just a dab. Maybe a capful? I don't know. much is never enough. All right. All right, she's showing empty, but you can see this down in there. I'm going to run it a bit with the stabilizer. Let uh, me get it all through the, through the jets of the carburetor. Uh, it sits in the bowl, uh, like sitting in the bowl. Don't wait, because this new gas, man, it's, it's hard. We all, we all make fun of it. Anyway, and probably the next thing I'll attach to this is crating this up and putting it in a container. If you have know, time to go for a ride and you don't want to break down, just uh, put the old vice grip on the uh, throttle. Alright, the idle just picked up on its own. Tells me it's going lean, it's running out of gas. Good thing. That's it. She just starved herself and died. Um, I've done this when I lived in New England with snowmobiles and jet skis. Um, and next summer or winter, I'm fine. They, they start right up. I don't remember. The jet ski was definitely easier. I don't think I, um, I don't think, you're, yeah, maybe I took the, the bowls off the carburetors just to check, but they're, they're pretty much spotless. Um, you know, maybe the next season after that, clean out a car, but that stabilizer works great. All right, I'm going one step full further. I'm gonna stick a paper towel down in there, soak everything out of there. Cause it's, I don't know, an empty tank with very little fuel is more dangerous to me. Cause the fumes are what, that's what catches fire first so um, but you're really not supposed to ship these in a container for that reason but uh, you know as long as you're safely doing it draining fuel they say oil too but 
I'll probably wrap the thing in plastic so if anything did leak, it wouldn't uh, spread. I don't know. Just building a little crate. Ship this baby. It's going in a container, so I don't want to lose storage. So, put a little shelf. Put stuff on top of it, too. I should probably ride it like that. It's kind of cool. <laughs> told him to bump it in closer to the curb, but whatever. Probably get hit by some something like this driving by. Things first. I mean, he's got the thing crooked. It's sticking out in the street. Someone's gonna hit it. So I think uh, I think I'll just hit it with my tire there. Why didn't I think it was wider? I think it's only about seven feet inside. They say it's eight, but they mean the whole container. F Y I. Here we go. Crate it up. Uh, it's not legal. For this company, we ship the motorcycle, but uh, we'll let them know never. And at a later date, we'll share this info. Just an F Y I. These actually are seven feet between these posts here. I mean, you probably get an extra inch and a half. Well, I'd say an inch for anything you're going to shove in between these. Which are, let's say, probably 24 inches. Yeah, two feet. Nope, that's upside down, Michael. That is 42 inches. <laughs> 42 inches. Let's get a length measurement. 16 you. foot box. Gives you a working 15 foot, five inches, I would say, because then you get the garage five or six inches. So 15.5. Next step is distribution of a weight. I have a, my toolbox is going to go between these two tapes and that one way down there. So that's about centered. Once I get it in here, I can see that the those screws are actually centered probably, so I need to shift it over. But that's my next heaviest thing. Heavy, heavy. Then I have like two more things. I'll put it down this corner or this corner. Maybe something in that corner, because that's just the front end of the scooter. It's pretty pretty light. And then the rest is stacking boxes, I think. Alright, so I started bringing stuff out here and Taping off is helping me. Like, okay, I know that box is going there. I got room behind it. This wall, I can do garage stuff. And somebody mentioned doing the bed right in the doorway. That way, nothing can fall and block your door. So, I think I'll probably just stand the bed up. The bed will fit here with the frame. Um, I don't see it. I think it's going to fall the door anyway. They transport these things level. They pick it up level, goes on a truck level, bounces down the road, comes off level. It's never at an angle or anything, as far as I know. So another thing you might want to consider if you're moving in hot weather like me, it's like 80 something degrees out, 85. Just put a thermometer in here. I don't know, this says it's a hundred. See that? I don't know if it is. I mean, I have records I want to put out here. That's warm to touch. So I don't think I want to be putting any records in here yet. I have to wait till the last day. And I'll put them on the ground. Let's see if it's any cooler. It's probably going to be cooler down here. Toolbox is more stable, secure now. My 
Ben Petro here. Drove this up on the old truck. He's going to, uh, he's a loader. He just brings us to another location. This one's going up frontwards. Might be a little narrower. Looks good there. Perfect. This guy cracks me up. Very little English. And away they go. Done. And done. It's all this hot villa. Basically, uh, a four post lift. Hydraulics. She goes in and out. Up and down. And then just wheel her on over there. We'll go right over top. And just plop it down. And hopefully, this thing isn't too heavy. Honda generator going there. Powers the whole thing. <laughs> Go right up over the curb, why not? Chalk block. I would th I thought they would just go directly to the box, but that they do is they end up chaining it. They just chain it so it kind of swings in within this cradle. I guess that makes sense. Then they can just lift it up. Hmm. Yeah, he's got the side already chained up. Guys, how are you? Right. Moment of truth. How heavy is this pig? <laughs> I don't know if I'll have to ask him if they have a scale built into this thing. I don't know. It's gotta get off the curb, I think. 
she goes. Straight up and then back the truck under. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> She's got air in those tires. They look a little flat. Corner by him. <laughs> Jesus. Maybe I'm overreacting. Good to have in your backyard. Car lift. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh, so scary. That tire. That tire looks flat. Wow. in the back. She just jacked up about six inches there. <laughs> All right, Fernando was great. Yeah, he said he's never had one too heavy to pick up. He's heard of people do it. Uh, you're allowed 4,200 pounds, I believe, with a 16 foot. And if it is too heavy, you just have to, I guess they come back. But uh, this, I'm wondering what this weighs because he's, he's lifting in the front pretty saggy in the back <laughs> this should be all right see you in massachusetts good morning it's pod delivery day it's gonna go right there and my neighbor decides to park right there narrow street i don't know what this guy's gonna do well there he is for fuck's sakes She's like, yeah, just knock on my door. I'm home. I work from home. This guy's getting heat. Getting backed up all the way up the street. And, uh, yeah, much better than my L.A. driver. Nice guy. And she just pulled away and she just moved her car. Jesus. All right. Well, let's the fun begin. Uh, and to answer some questions, I, yeah, I did pack this, the mattress here, but uh, I had a mirror. Must have fallen forward and it kind of was keeping the roll up door from going up. So the driver and I fought with that. So make sure you have nothing that can come forward or affect your roll up doors. Uh, the only thing that shifted this compressor went at an angle. I had strapped in everything. These drawers opened, but looks like everything back there stayed because it was packed pretty tight. So packing is key. And right on cue, here comes the rain. Yeah, who else has this luck? Oh boy, almost there. All this stuff's gotta go to the storage unit with the truck for the winter. So down the side of next to the truck, it's gonna be tight, but aye, aye, aye. moving's fun.
glove. All right, boys, this is how you store a truck for the winter. It's only October, but I'm gonna put the scooter there. So we've got that. Uh, got the period correct license plates for 1970s. These are off of 75, they're red and white. It's uh, like an ivory white. Cleared them through the DMV, was able to put them on. Pretty good. So I got all my crap in here for winter. Oh boy, wanted some nice dry storage, but still got a few more weeks or months maybe of uh, driving before the salt to the roads. All right, checking in on you. Hope uh, everybody's good.